All right. Another great honor. We have former WWE diva Nidia here. You got it. Nidia, I'm actually uh, more elated to meet you today because recently, a month ago, I had Al Snow on my show. Did you really? Yes. Oh my God. The one, thing, the one thing that I wish that I could have talked about was uh, getting into some of the Tough Enough stuff. Okay. So I'm going to ask you. Perfect. What, what, what was it like actually having Al Snow as, as a coach? It's, he's a great guy, so imagine having him like around every day, and he was like a father figure, you know, because he took really good care of us, and he's like, he welcomed us with like open arms. Of course, he was really, really tough on us at first, but he's such a caring and loving guy. He had us rolling for an hour. I bet. Well, when I, when I first started talking to him, I, I, I was upset because I think that I thought that he was going to be a really tough nut to crack, because he comes on very serious. And I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I used to see his on-ring persona, and I, I love the man, I really do. And I got so nervous at first, and then we finally Did started- you really? We actually started, like, you know, taking the hammer and chinking the armor and getting through. It and doesn't really take that much to get through. Actually, yeah. we were talking to, uh, uh, we, we brought up Cindy, uh, his wife, Cindy Lynch. Okay. And apparently, that broke the ice because, according to him, she thinks she's Ella Fitzgerald with a karaoke box. So, and she kind of keeps him up at night, but anyway. Does she really? It's hysterical. But, um, so, what, what actually brings you here today? Um, I'm doing a show for um, St. Jude's. Okay. Dawn Marie brings me here, really, because um, I love spending time with she's, her. And she, she's got a leash around you, she just drags you along. And... It's very hard to say no to her. <laughs> very hard to say no to her. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, so um, her and uh, Michelle Mupo called me up and see if I wanted to do this. And of course, I mean, any any chance I get to spend time with Dawn is perfect for me. Plus, it's a good cause, so. Right. Um, now, I have to ask you, um, you were with WWE for what, four or five years? About that. Not even just WWE in general. Is there an overall favorite wrestling moment you've, you've ever had in ring? You know what? I actually do have a favorite wrestling moment. I um, I can't remember exactly the match. Um, it, I, well, it wasn't a match. It was like a bikini contest. And um, I probably saw it then. Yeah, probably, I'm sure. So we had a bikini contest, and it was, um, if I'm not mistaken, forgive my memory, Dawn, um, Sable, no, no, it was probably Dawn and Tori and I, and it was whenever Shaniqua came in, and she um, came in and she threw everybody out of the ring. That was probably the most amazing moment for me because you know what, everything was like perfect, you know, it's just like the crowd was so in, and it's just like, it was such an emotional thing for me. I remember I got a huge clothesline by um, Shaniqua, and I was laid out. And whenever I came back too, Don's like, hey, Nid, are you okay? I'm like, oh my God, I love my job. Because I had like goosebumps all over my body. It was so energetic, you know what I mean? Right, it was just right. like everything fit into place. It was, I hate to sound like a kook, but it was like an a spiritual experience for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, while well, I'm getting the crap beat out of me. But. Well, the other thing I have to admire, during the era that you were actually with the company, I think the one thing that, that made me want to watch the, the show was actually the female wrestlers. It seemed to me at the time the female wrestlers were more solid in ring than a lot of the guys. And I think you were a very big part of that. Well, you know what? We had a really, really good trainer. We had Fit Finley. Yeah, Fit Finley, right? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Fit Finley, does, he doesn't take pity on us. You know, it's like you get in the ring, and I remember there was a, an era where I got really, really confident, you know, because we worked together every day and just like getting in the ring, and you always learn something, you know, at least one thing, you know? So I was getting really confident, and I'm just like, aha, take that, Fit. And I made a huge mistake. I'm just like talking smack to Fit. <laughs> and I kid you not, before I, like, I knew what was going on, he like flipped me into like 30 different positions and like laid me out. I was just like, ah. Uh, uh, yes, master. <laughs> yeah, really. Or or it could be a great Saturday night getting flipped into 30 different positions. But, yeah. Oh, well, anyway. There you anyway, go. anyway. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> so, was there anything uh, match-wise, like physical, that you, that you admired, that you were able to think, that you look back on and say, wow, I can't believe I pulled that off? No. I, I can't say that. No, I can't say that. It's not like I'm doing Gail Kim stuff or anything right, like that. Right. You know, it's like, okay, cool, I did a suplex. Who knows? So what, what else is, is keeping you occupied? Right now I have a two-year-old. Wow, congratulations. I know. It's wow. really, really a lot of fun. I honestly never thought I was going to be a mom because I just love, like, girls gone wild and partying so much. <laughs> but it happened. It actually changed my life in a very, very positive direction. So, I mean, it's standard, but to me, it's like my life is more beautiful now than it's ever been. So any chance of seeing you back in ring? 
not 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 a big chance. Okay. No, I have different going. priorities now. You okay. know what I mean? I love being at home. I love spending time with her, and it's just like it's very important to me to be in her life, especially right now, whenever she's young. Of course. And I have a different passion. I want to get into the culinary arts, so I'm going. Very I good. know. Very good. I'm so excited. I'm going to culinary school and see if I can come up with some tasty vegetarian dishes here and there. So I'm gonna get invited over to, to like taste some of this. Of something? course. Oh, great. Of great. course, you can be the judge. Or the guinea pig. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it works both ways, yeah. Nitty, it was definitely an honor and a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's you. over already? Well, you got, what else? What, what else we got? I thought you were interviewing me. I am. Uh -huh. But, uh, all right. <laughs> I'm kidding. I can edit this. Hold on a second. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. Like, how many Drop pairs the camera. of socks do you have? <laughs> Drop the camera. I'm going to take Nitty around the back. and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? No, but definitely. Thank you very much for the interview. It's an honor and a pleasure. And hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll all be kept posted of other appearances and we'll uh, meet up again. I hope so. All right? I hope so, yeah, totally. Right, great. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay.